Hey everyone, you little pieces of nastiness. It is Thursday and you know what that means. That's right, I'm gonna rant because today is Thursday and that's what I do. Thursday is the day that I set aside to rant on the internet. Yay, let's get started. <clears throat> so today, well, I'm gonna go through a couple of things that I hate, but let, first things first, today is just not going, it, It's today's not okay, okay? I woke up in a great mood. I was gonna tweet something, and guess what my phone did? It decided to die, the little stupid piece of crap. And when it died, these were my exact words. My exact words, hold on, I need to find my paper where I wrote them down, because I forgot, but I'll be right back. The words I used were, my phone just fucking died because it's a motherfucking bitch ass fucking bitch. Those are the words I use. Excuse me, Jesus, for my language, for I have been spoken in, because I have spoken impurely. Forgive me, but I was mad, okay? And I still am mad because nothing today is going right, okay? <laughs> See, that's exhibit A as to why things are not going right, okay? So then I was gonna take a shower, you know, because I had just been laying in bed for like another 20, 30 hours after I had woken up and after I was gonna post that tweet. Like all I was gonna do was post a tweet that said, I am hungry, I want waffles. And was I able to do that? No. So then I got up, started looking for clothes, and for some strange reason, I could not find a pair of pants and or shorts. That is right, boys and girls. I am coming to you live in my calzones. Which I'm not going to show you because then this video could get flagged and I do not want that. Okay, but yeah, that's what happened. I took a shower and I was unable to find any pants to wear. So I guess I'm not going anywhere today at all. I'm just going to stay home all day. Not like I had plans. Oh, I got a snapshot. Well, guess what? You're gonna have to freaking wait because you're stupid. Ugh. Anyways, moving on. Let's talk about some of the things I hate in this life, okay? Okay, let's get started. One thing I really hate is when people decide to leave the door knob and or handles to the door wet. Like, why would you do that? Like, you wash your hands. I, I understand that you washed your hands. Otherwise, the door knob or the door furniture, as they say in Australia, would not be wet. But for some reason, it is wet. Why is it wet? Because you washed your hands and you didn't dry your hands afterwards. Now, I understand. People, stop texting me when I'm recording. I understand that you were probably in a hurry, but when you are in the restroom and you touch your down there when you pee or when you wipe your butt all those germs they're on your hand and then when you go and like turn the knob the for the faucet your hands are dry right your hands are dry but all those germs that were on your hands are now on that knob so when you're washing your hands and you wash with soap I assume, I hope you wash with soap, but then you reach back over to the knob to shut it off. And what happens? All those germs, the wetness, it's, they're just back on your hands again. And then you go and touch the doorknob and you leave all those germs on the doorknob. Thank you for leaving all your germs on the doorknob. If I get sick and if I get hepatitis B, I know who to come to to sue. It's you, thank you. Another thing I really hate about this world, about this life that I reside in, is Crocs. Like, why would people wear Crocs? They are freaking disgusting. If you wear Crocs, we cannot be friends, period. End of story. If you wear Crocs, dear God, I pray for you that you one day will find a suitable fashion sense for your feet because Crocs are disgusting and if you wear them one more time in my presence, I'm going to personally take this pin and shove it up your scrotum. Yeah, I hate Crocs. Okay, you are not Glozel. Unless you are Glozel, you should not wear Crocs. So Glozel, keep wearing Crocs, you're fabulous wearing Crocs, but if you are not Glozel, do not wear Crocs. Or like I said, I will take that pen and shove it up your scrotum. Moving on to the next thing I hate. <sighs> I hate when people 
ask me if I'm awake. Like, you're, they're sitting on the opposite side of the room. Or like, I don't know, slumber party. I don't know, something. But like, I'm quiet for like 15 minutes. And then they ask me if I'm awake. And I say, or no, 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 no. They ask. They say my name. And I'm like, what? And they're like, are you awake? No, I'm freaking asleep. I am just somehow manipulating my dreams telepathically to seep into your mind. I am now soul reading you, okay? Our souls are now connected and you can hear my thoughts while I sleep. That is the explanation as to why you could hear my thoughts when I'm asleep. If I answer you, it's because I'm awake. Why else would I answer you? I'm not gonna answer you when I'm still sleeping. That's just, oh my God, just, mm. 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 Moving on to the next thing I hate. I hate when people come over to my house and they think it's okay to just go through all my stuff and start touching everything. Like, okay, you do not touch my things. I don't go to your house and touch all your things, looking through all your stuff as if something of mine belonged was there. Something that belonged to me was there, okay? I do not do that. I respect your privacy. I respect your area. I expect you to do the same when you come to my house. See, this room, this is my room. All my things are in here. I'm pretty sure none of your things are in here unless, you know, you left it here and you're I'm trying to help you look for it. But other than that, then you don't have the right and whatever, you should not just like randomly start going through all my stuff, okay? That is not okay, you do not do that. And that is it, boys and girls, for this rant on Thursday. It is Thursday rants today, oh my gosh, a seagull. And over and out, I am done speaking because this video is already six, seven, six minutes and 13, 14, 15 seconds long. I will see you tomorrow on Flashback Friday where I take a look into the past of my childhood. Bye!